Okay, so I want your Hanukkah to be different this year. And here's how, but let me share a thought with you first, okay? Every year this question comes up, and I'm so bothered by it. We have these massive Jewish holidays celebrating incredible miracles like Pesach, Passover. Hashem split the sea. Hashem did these incredible 10 plagues. Wow, miraculous. Shavuos, we received the Torah on Mount Sinai. What happens? We're able to hear lightning. We're able to see thunder. Incredibly miraculous, surreal. Neither of these major Jewish holidays do we stop and make a bracha, a blessing. Thank you, Hashem, for doing miracles for us. All of a sudden comes Hanukkah. And we all stop. And right when we're lighting our menorah, we say, Thank you, Hashem, for doing incredible miracles. What? I, don't get me wrong. I, I don't want to take away from the fact that, yes, We had a military victory and it was miraculous. And yes, there was a candle that burned, the oil burned for eight days. Yes, that's true. But compare that to the splitting of the sea, the 10 plagues, and there we don't make a bracha and now we do. Why? Perhaps the lesson, and it's a question we hear every year, but we have to remind ourselves about this. Perhaps the lesson is that in life, when we see a big miracle, of course we're all going to say, oh, that's huge, that's a miracle. But when it comes to the small stuff in life, even things that seem natural, like a military victory, where we might say, oh, come on, that's not a miracle, that's just nature. That we have to stop in our lives and go, yes, even that's a miracle. And we can't overlook the small stuff. We have to see the miracles in our own lives. This is the message of Hanukkah. Not just Remembering a once upon a time what Hashem did lavoseinu for our forefathers, for the ones in the past. But to see it and to bring it into our own lives. To see the miracles. So here's how I want you to change your Hanukkah this year. And right now we're all prepping. Everybody's buying their oil and buying the candles and buying their gifts. Everybody's getting ready for Hanukkah. I want you to prep in one more way. Spiritual prep. I want you to sit down. And write down eight small miracles in your life. And you can have everybody in your family do this. Have your kids do this. Have your spouse do this. Everybody you're going to be with on Hanukkah. Eight small miracles. And each night when you light the menorah, you can all go around and you can share your small miracle. To be able to look in your life and see the miracles that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Almighty does for us. Let's take the message of Hanukkah. Let's bring it into our lives. Let's stop. Let's contemplate. Let's make a real. Let's make our Hanukkah even more meaningful this year. I want to wish everybody a beautiful Hanukkah. Great to see you, and I'll see you next time.